what's up everybody welcome back i'm back over here at the magic kingdom right now at the ticket and transportation center uh i haven't been here in a very long time because my schedule has been very very crazy so uh bear with me for these next few weeks uh before i get this schedule thing situated but today we are at the magic kingdom because christmas is over and the christmas crowds should be gone so that's pretty much what i want to show you guys are the crowds gone from magic kingdom from disney world so we're going to take a walk around the park show you guys different attraction wait times show you guys the crowd level see how the crowds are looking like and just explore magic kingdom because i haven't been here in a while and what a beautiful day today is i always love to take the ferry boat over to the magic kingdom especially on nice beautiful hot days like this it's about 85 degrees in the middle of january right now and actually probably in a couple days i'm going to be uh taking some boats out on this lake right here or oh, this is 70s lagoon i'm probably going to be on bay lake over there uh, i like to go do the boats on that lake a little bit better less congested uh so yeah it's gonna be a pretty fun time Last boat which took almost three years to excavate. We do ask that while on board, the stairs remain clear while the boat is in motion. Once again, And here we are, we have made it. We are about to go into the Magic Kingdom and I can already tell the feel. It feels like there's not a lot of people here right now. It is very, very rare that you will see this area right here basically empty no one is taking pictures right here in front of the train station that's really weird and today is actually a wednesday it's about one o'clock so this is like when the peak amount of people are at the theme park but as you can tell check out main street right here town square it's pretty empty over here at the town square theater mickey mouse is only at a 10 minute wait now disney does know when the park is gonna be a little less crowded and they will adjust the park hours based on that so as of like a couple weeks the park has been closing at eight o'clock the magic kingdom has been closing at eight o'clock because there's just not a lot of people here i've gotta say it does feel really really good to be walking around at the magic kingdom without people shoulder to shoulder because those Christmas crowds were insane. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in Adventureland, make my way clockwise around and finish in Tomorrowland, checking out the crowds, exploring Magic Kingdom a little bit. But man, I can already tell this day feels so awesome. I love today, like the weather is perfect. There's not a lot of people here. This feels like just a day I, I was I was at Magic Kingdom from open to close, just hanging out. Adventureland definitely does feel a little bit more crowded. That's just cause these walkways in Adventureland are very, very tight. So it's always gonna feel crowded. But I bet these wait times in Adventureland are not bad at all. Jungle Cruise posted at a 40 minute wait. Not bad, not bad. Oh wow, Pirates of the Caribbean's at 55 minutes. I did not expect that. I did not expect Pirates to be that long. That's a pretty long wait for Pirates. I'd say a normal busy day for Pirates is it's gonna top out around maybe 40 minutes, but 55 is actually a pretty busy day. Very interesting because the crowd levels feel low but the wait times in Adventureland were a little bit high let's keep exploring around the park a little bit see if those wait times will continue to be high also something that has happened splash mountain closed for refurbishment its annual refurbishment happens every year around this time it'll open up back again in probably about a month so splash mountain is down probably is contributing to the higher wait times in this area of the park like Pirates of the Caribbean. But over here uh, in Frontierland, uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroads, actually only 40 minute wait is not a long wait at all. Hey, you looking nice. Posing for it. Hey, you got his name on his back. An awesome thing to do on a day like today would be to head over to Tom Sawyer Island. I love Tom Sawyer Island. It's so fun over there. Get away from everybody and go on that little island back there and go see some florida nature and there's a lot of cool things to explore over there like caves it's kind of scary if you guys ever wanted to see what the bottom area of splash mountain looks like without all the water there you go it's pretty weird we've made our way through liberty square 
And uh, to my surprise, once again, Haunted Mansion is at a very long wait. We have the queue all the way extended out here into the street. It's posted at a 55 minute wait. And I do have to say, the crowd levels in Liberty Square are definitely the highest that I've felt today, even more so than Adventureland. So, so far these weights have been pretty surprising for me. Um, let's see if they are still high over here in Fantasyland. I'm guessing they are. It's a small world right here. It's posted at a 30 minute wait. I'd say that's a little bit, uh, I'd say that's pretty average. Let's see what Peter Pan is. Peter Pan is always a very long wait. This is uh, over 70 minutes, I'd say. Then it's it's pretty busy. Uh, let's see what it's at. Let's see, it's at 70 minutes exactly. Peter Pan is one of the rides with the highest wait times every single day here in Fantasyland and Magic Kingdom. It does feel better over here in Fantasyland once we get away from that walkway over there. But as you can tell, not too many people walking around, but the weights are still relatively high. I'm interested to see what the most popular ride in Magic Kingdom, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, is posted at. Oh, yep. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train posted at a 125 minute wait right now. Uh, that is pretty long. I'd say that's a, that's a pretty busy day for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I'd say an average day is maybe around 80, 90 minutes. Even Winnie the Pooh right here is posted at 40 minutes. Very strange. All right, the last land to come check out, Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland is a very wide, spread out land with lots of room to walk. So a lot of times it's not gonna feel very busy. And right here, Tomorrowland Speedway is only 20 minute wait, not bad at all. Just a quick little stop. I don't think I have shown you guys the new uh, Star Traders, Mickey Star Traders. I don't know if it's still called Mickey Star Traders or if it's just called Star Traders because Star Traders is what is on the sign outside. But anyways, Here's the new and uh, remodeled uh, Star Traders. And you can see right here, these windows is where the Tomorrowland people mover goes. It definitely feels more busy in this area of Tomorrowland by Buzz Lightyear. And uh, Buzz is actually posted right now at 55 minutes. It's a little bit higher than average. I say on an average day, this would be around 30, 40 minutes. And it looks like Space Mountain is posted at 65 minutes, which is average, I'd say, average for Space Mountain. And actually, today is a very special day. Today is January 15th, the 45th anniversary of Space Mountain. So, happy birthday, Space Mountain, the very first roller coaster in the Magic Kingdom, the first indoor steel roller coaster. Uh, the first roller coaster to ever be controlled by computers turns 45 today. Oh wow, check these out. I have not seen these in person yet. They are the ride vehicles to the Tron Light Cycle Run. I cannot wait for this ride to open uh, 2021. Right back here, this roller coaster looks like it's gonna be awesome. So yeah guys, there you have it. Crowd levels around Magic Kingdom after Christmas time, post holiday season. The crowds at the front of the park felt like it was gonna be a very low crowd day. But as I went more into the park, into the different lands, the crowd levels definitely did pick up and the wait times did surprise me. Pirates was at like a 60 minute wait, I think, around 60 minutes. There was definitely some high wait uh, attractions today. But there really isn't a slow, slow season here at Disney World anymore. Um, right now is when a lot of people from South America are in the park because right now is like their summer break. So for the next couple months, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of people from South America, a lot of tour groups, um, and they bring a lot, a lot of people. So that is definitely gonna increase the weights over here. But I mean, compared to Christmas, compared to that Christmas week, the weeks leading up to Christmas, even the week after Christmas, these weights are super, super low compared to that. So we definitely won't see crowds like those Christmas crowds until next season, next holiday season. So there's that to be thankful for. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you are coming to Disney World, I hope the crowds aren't super, super bad for you. Hope you're able to get on everything. But thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at MarcusQ.MQ. And it's kind of fun to do the impossible. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Please supervise your children. Stay clear of